Hello and welcome to my fourth Blit 3D tutorial. And I would like to apologize for not posting a video for so long. I was busy. So, yeah, for people who watch me, my videos. So, in this tutorial, I will teach you how to actually move your object, move our, in this case, our sphere object, how to move it across the screen using arrow, using the arrow keys. Or you, I will show you how to change it to any key you ever want. So, see this little flip command, command here? Just let's place that inside the game loop so it's between the render world and the wind. Now, what that actually does, flip, make, it makes sure that all of the commands that we put in the game loop, between the while and the wind, are actually rendered on the objects. So, if we, like, put a command in here, then flip would, fl would inside the game loop, would just render the commands on our objects on the screen so they would actually process. So, yeah. After you've done that, I'm going to show you a simple command to make your object move when you press something. Now, for people who are unfamiliar to the common if statement, this is going to be necessary. And the if statement works on the syntax if this condition, condition, sorry, is true, then do this. So yeah, that's basically the syntax of this statement. If this condition is true, then do this. Yeah. <laughs> so let's write a quick command. I'm going to be using the translate entity command, and we're going to say if translate entity. Oh, wait, sorry. Let's just use the key down command first. Key down. If key down, and in these brackets, there's going to be a key. Uh, number, actually. Well, in Blitz 3D, there are these things called scan codes, and a scan code is just a numerical representation for a key. There's a scan code for each single key in your, on your keyboard. And to actually find out these scan codes, Let's go to the help section, then go right to the command reference section, go to this command picker, scan code picker section, and then just click on any key, and we want to find out the left arrow key for this program, and it shows us the scan code, 203. Let's jump back to our window, and let's enter if key down 203, which is the left arrow key. Then translate entity sphere, and then we specify the axis we want to translate the sphere on. So, comma, since it's the left arrow key, negative 0 0.1, comma 0, comma 0. So, yeah. And what, let's just recap on this code. We just said if key down means if the key, the left arrow key, 203, left arrow key is held, there's really something called key hit, which means we have to press and release the key for this function to take place, but we, I like key down. So let's just use if key down 203, which is the left arrow key, then translate the sphere negative one-tenth degrees on the x-axis. And we're basically going to do the same for all the arrow keys. Arrow keys. So I'm just going to quickly lead you through that. If key down, and now let's find out that scan code for the right arrow key. Again, just the help section, right on the scan codes picker. Click on the right arrow key, and the scan code is 205. Let's go back, and there we go. Just enter 205, which is the right arrow key, then translate <laughs> to T. Sphere, comma, this time, 1 tenth degrees, comma, 0, comma, 0. Now, the reason I'm using one-tenth degree is not one degree, because I think that one degree is a little too much for just a quick press of a key. So, I recommend you to use, like, 0 0.1. But if you want it, obviously, to go faster, just change this place value. Yeah. I recommend in the tenths, so. And then, if key down 208. I'm just, I'm just using the up key. 208 is the up key, by the way. Because I already know the scan codes, and I don't want to kind of, like, bore you to death. Oh, man, wait. Translate entity. Sorry about that. 
This is really kind of embarrassing. I've been programming in this language for a long time, but I can't really get the commands right, so... <laughs> okay, so if key down 208. And we're going to be using the... We're going to be using the y-axis, not the z-axis, because the z-axis will move it three-dimensionally, how close or how far an object is. We're going to be using the... Well, the... Sorry. The y-axis, so yeah. Negative 0 0.1. Then we write if e down 200, which is the down arrow key, then friends slate entity sphere. Sorry. Sphere, comma, 0, comma, 0 0.1, comma, 0. And that's it. We have all of our keys. And to recap quickly, all we did is modified the uh, arrow keys to move our sphere. So yeah, now if you run this program, just click on the rocket ship, I think we kind of like went through that. See our sphere, and if you actually try, you can move it, one sec, you can move it with your arrow keys, and it works fine. So yeah, thanks for watching this tutorial, and in the next tutorial I'll think about showing you a couple of cool tricks on importing objects and how to make your own objects. And yeah. So thanks for watching and yeah. So wait till my next tutorial and I promise it won't be too long from now. Oh yeah.